Hi, um, I've just finished a net galley arc that comes out on the 22nd of June and it's a standalone thriller by Ros Watkins and it's called The Red House. Um, I haven't read anything by Ros Watkins before so she's a new author for me and um, I'm now intrigued to read more because if they've all got the twists, if all her books have the twists that this one have, had, has, then um, I'm going to be in for some fun. We've got two timelines and multiple points of view, but at no time did I become confused because each chapter is clearly marked who the point of view is. We start in 2002 and the Flowers family have all been shot dead. Um, all except five-year-old Celestine and her teenage brother Joseph, who Celestine has identified as the killer. She was found shouting, Joseph did it. Um, Joseph set the house alight after the murder, crashed his car, and now, in present day, he's in a vegetative state, being cared for by his grandmother Peggy. In the present day, also, Celestine is now called Eve. She changed her name, moved away um, and tried to reinvent herself because she wants to keep under the radar, um, away from the publicity surrounding this famous murder, particularly as it's now the 20th anniversary. And also um, there was a game about the murders called The Red House that her brother Joseph and his friend Nate created. And it's the, as, as I said, it's the 20th anniversary. And gamers believe that there is a hidden level within this game that reveals the truth about the murders. Because everything that is happening makes Eve wonder whether she got it wrong and should the police really have believed a five-year-old girl who was clearly traumatised. So is Joseph actually innocent? Now the Red House where the murders take place, it is eerie, it's spooky, it's chilling, it's almost a character in itself. And this is where her grandmother Peggy lives and where she takes care of Joseph. Um, Eve finds it very, very difficult to trust people and the life she's had, you can understand why. And as you're reading, you have to also wonder whether the people that are entering her life are trustworthy. Are they on her side or do they have ulterior motives? She works in a bookshop um, for Marcus and um, Marcus has got engaged to Serena so she she's involved with Serena as well. Um, then there's Zach who comes into her life and you wonder whether these people are good or bad then there's her uncle and aunt, Gregory and Della, who looked after her when she was little. So, all the time, like her, you don't know who these people are. Are these people genuine? Because things start happening and Eve finds herself in danger. And once in danger, then she can she trust anyone? Um, the beginning was brilliant, and I loved the twists at the end. The only thing that's held me back a little bit was the computer game when it started diving into the computer game, trying to get into the different levels. I'm not a gamer, so that bit I found a little bit laborious, but. You know, that's me. The, re the rest of it was, was super. 
And as for the twists, I, I didn't see them coming. If you read this book, you might see them coming, but I didn't. Um, character of Eve, I loved. Um, she might have had a traumatic childhood. She might be in danger now. She might be finding it difficult to trust people, but there is a feistiness about her. Um, and there is the suspense here and the twist. And I really, really enjoyed it. So that's the uh, Red House. Comes out on the 22nd of June. So if you like thrillers, give it a whirl. So happy reading. Take care.